Hello, uh, everyone. My name is Sugi, co-founder and CEO at Will. Um, I'm very, you know, um, honored to be here today. Uh, let me start with a short video first. Yeah, I should have uh, music, but anyway. So this is the Model CI. So it should move, but anyway. Okay, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> so uh, this is the Model CI, and oop, oop. So. Uh, Something weird. Now it's moving. <laughs> oh, I cannot. So, can you go to the next slide? Yes. So, this is the Model CI. We won the Best of Innovation Award at CES this year. And the Model CI launched in August in Japan. And the Model CI, a, uh, it is, it's made US debut at the CES in this year. So, Model CI can be disassembled into three components and easy to you know, bring it into the car, any car. And also, it has IoT function uh, with 3G connectivity. There are various functions. So for example, 24-7 uh, location tracking, uh, um, um, support like you know, caretaker, assist caretaker and family members, and, uh, and remote maintenance enhance your service, our service. So uh, to our owner, so now we have two product lineup. So uh, right side one, oh no, left side one is premium product, uh, model A, which has powerful and steady uh, with four wheel drive functionality. And left one is, I just introduced, model C, which has light and transportable. And to our owner, we are named as in one of the most innovative company in 2018 by first company. We are ranking in uh, ranking number five in robotics sector. This is our mission: delivering fun and innovation to pedestrian travel for all. Let me introduce why we started in the company. This is back in 2010. Um, all start with the wheelchair user voice. He said, "I gave up going to the grocery store, even just two blocks away." There are two reasons. The first, off, first one is the negative image. Still, you know, the negative image attached to the wheelchair, power wheelchair, so that he doesn't want to be seen in the wheelchair user. And the second, um, physical limitation. If there's a slope, the bumps on the road, even the small things, for him, it's, it's sometimes difficult to get to the, his destination. Due to the big you know, obstacle for him. Then, okay, we can make it. At that time, so we have small engineering team called Sunnyside Garage. So actually, it was located in Machida City, a suburb of Tokyo. So actually, the CTO's house, we called Garage here. And we are, you know, all young, late 20s, young designers and engineers who got together only the weekend and create something, a new product. Um, just for fun. So we we'll happen to be one of these projects. And after one year of development, we exhibited at Tokyo Motor Show um, in 2011. And then we got an overwhelmingly positive reaction from all over the world. Then I see the meaningful to focus on the project. And I realized 
it's not only him, but also a lot of people desire innovation in this industry. Then startup in 2012. These are the founders. So we are uh, student engineering and design and manufacturing experience, Sony, Nissan, and Olympus. We come together to build a superior hardware mobility device to achieve our mission. But now, thousands of thousands of people uh, enjoy life as well. Um, one young you know, the users always take Will out to go um, nightclub every day. And one senior is um, going you know, museum with her husband and enjoy her life. It's pretty good. And I'm really sure, I, I'm really sure to redefine the mobility device image and then you know, change the people's life in a positive way. But I, I'm keeping thinking, I keep thinking, what, what is the, our mission? Our mission is delivering fun innovation to pedestrian for all. Is this really enough? And I realize it's, it's making hardware product is not enough. And then I would like to introduce my real experience, which drove me to least think about our mission. It was back in 2014. Do, do you know where is it? Where this is? Yeah, so I think everyone knows. So Tokyo Midtown in Lopongi. I, I drove with Will for a meeting with the Yahoo Japan Capital. So we are in you know raising money for Series A round. And then I got an insight and they're looking for um, reception for Yahoo Japan Capital. And I, I thought the white counter is the reception, but it wasn't so. Then I asked her at the counter, so where is the YG Capital reception? And then she pointed out here. So Yahoo Japan Capital reception is upstairs. So you can go up with, go, go up from there. But, but wait, I, I'm riding on the wheel, something like this. I cannot go with wall, you know, go upstairs in an escalator, right? Then I talked with her, you know, more than 20 minutes. Then finally, she, she allowed me to, you know, go through the employee elevator to get to the second floor. I, I arrived just in time for a meeting. So luckily, we succeed like raising money for the Yahoo Japan, from Yahoo Japan. But if, if I was late, it cannot happen. What's happened? And then Will might not happen. We, 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 we might not be here. We might not be in the house. So it's really scary. But anyway, what I want to say here is that um, even though very modern building, city, like Tokyo Midtown, is still accessible, non-friendly. Non so this taught me a little think about, like, you know, making hardware, hardware product is not enough. It's always, you know, it's working with infrastructure is really important. So hardware, infrastructure, these are the really key, two key components, and then for everything you know, to be smooth seamlessly, will has to be part of infrastructure. That I realized. Then I came up with the concept. This is mobility infrastructure. This is more B2B business side. But this is the uh, uh, new concept. And we work, we work with the, uh, we start work with the, uh, you know, making a mobility infrastructure. So this is a, an example. So we work with the Haneda Airport and Panasonic. So doing like autonomous driving and collision technology and also build up like, you know, and management, you know, the, 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 the software backside. So this is going to be a real business by 2020, before Tokyo Olympics. And it's not only the Haneda Airport. We work with the Heathrow, London. 
and uh, Schiphol, Amsterdam, Netherlands. Very simply say, Uber for sidewalk. So you think about it, it's just, you know, pick up like your phone and they put, you know, uh, the places where you wanna go. Then automatically we will drop up here and then, you know, pick you up to the, your destination where you wanna go. That's the concept. I understand that, you know, the, the example for Uber for autonomous driving is, is not a good example for now, but anyway. Um, you know, uh, by implementing this technology, uh, we will integrate a part of infrastructure, city of infrastructure, and then rail fleet will be uh, deployed these facilities, such as airport, amusement park, uh, smart city, you know, such, such. And then ultimately, we will become a public transportation for a sidewalk travel solution to support, you know, people's sidewalk travel, to assist people's uh, sidewalk travel. This is our ultimate goal. And then 25%. This is the number coming from Japan. This is the number of population over 65 years old in Japan. And actually, so uh, 130 million in a population here in, in, in Japan. So that's, that means close to 40 million is already over 65 you know, years old. That means the needs for mobility assistance is definitely increasing every year. It's not only Japan, but also all of the developed countries are facing the aging society, right? That we have to solve anyway. This is the last slide. So today's theme is the beyond of personal mobility. What is the beyond? The beyond means is everyone. Everyone uses same mobility device. I'd like to share my view. This is the last slide. Um, I really, you know, I really think, believe, you know, our journey will follow the history of the glasses. So, for example, um, long time ago, people who wear the glasses. Um, w w when I was elementary school, people who wear the glasses uh, actually mock mocked at by the classmates because it just not looks cool. But now. Everybody wear the glasses, even though like, you know, even though not bad eyesight, people as well, because it's just cool. It's changed from negative to positive, right? And then today, VR headset, Google, Google, you know, uh, Google glasses, and also jeans, you know, kind of implement an IoT function. That is no longer, you know, just a pair of glasses. It's way beyond that. It, it's, it's the product to improve people's lifestyle. And then everybody use it, same product. I think you know the personal mobility, i.e., powered wheelchair, is 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 also same. You know, I think it follows the similar path. Um, today, it it may seem to like you know do a product for physical challenge or people who have difficulty walking, but you know through design and innovation. It will, it will eventually change how everyone's experience mo mobilities. Thank you very much.